charge of hanging the door. But at that time, you know, Prince and, and Morris and Andre, they would show up to the gigs and I'd let them come in and give them some lip. Free. <laughs> so we we um we became friends from that and I think Prince seen my, my character at that time. And seeing that I was very poised to do things at that point, he asked Terry. He said, "Is your brother available to help you guys during the rehearsal period for preparation of the time?" Okay. And they asked me to, to come work for him. I was working for a major company, and um, I didn't like my, my manager. And, and everybody knows I get an attitude. I got an attitude like that. I left that job and we started working for the time. Right. Uh, do you remember the time going by the, this is a fanboy question, but the time originally was known as the Nerve for a little while. Do you remember those days? Do you remember how long it lasted that the band was going to be called the Nerve? The nerve lasted as long as you could scratch an itch. <laughs> And so, what you, it was the idea that the band was going to be called the Nerd, but it became the time, which was flight time. Right, right. Uh, tell me about the original like Minneapolis scene at that time, because we all know that Minneapolis was um, a cauldron of you know, a lot of hot bands that, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of groups. Flight time, my family, the original groups. The family, uh, Mind and Matter. A gentleman, a bunch of different groups. Every, you know, it's still it's still prevalent with a lot of groups there. Uh, uh, we just, you know, we grew up in a community that our our radio exposure was basically operated off of a, a satellite system and a, a solar system, which we had soul music from two, 12 o'clock to about two thirty, and. Any other time we had to listen to Bonnie Rake, which is cool. And Gordon Lightfoot. Edmunds Fitzgerald. She said, never gives up the dead in the land they call Get You Good. But how did Prince become a prolific songwriter listening to that shit? Tell us. What are your thoughts? He was blessed. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, when did KMOJ come about? KMOJ was a, a neighborhood radio station. That, that's the radio station I'm talking about. That was oh, okay. operating off the solar, okay. solar, okay. solar panels, okay. yeah, the sunlight. When the sun was at this point, it was strong. When it got to this point, it started to fade. And it only stretched to like the borders of Minneapolis. So, you know, again, we had to listen to uh, KWB, those are all pop music songs. Uh, they right. played a lot of Joni Mitchell, maybe. Joni Mitchell. <laughs> right. But again, Joni Mitchell's songwriting 